Back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In this episode, we'll go over how to customize the navigation bar, add a title, change the background color. Also, we'll be going over how to customize some of the images. So as you can see, we have different, um, four different customizations here. The first one is at the top, second one, and the third one, which can be used for profile pics. And also here, a pretty cool trick that I actually recently learned, which is using the UI uh, width of the screen and actually calculating or identifying how wide an object can be based on that. So without further ado, let's get right into this episode. Welcome back everybody. As usual, I'll be leaving out the template here that I've already created just so that we know what to do and what to follow and what our app should look like. Now, the first thing we want to do is actually add the images. So as you can see, I already added the images into my asset folder. Now you can add any image you want and I'll show you how to do that. You simply open the file that contains the image that you want to copy. And I think I have mine in downloads and all you need to do is simply click on it and then drag it into your asset folder. And if you just let go, it will be added straight away. It's very easy to do. Now let's get started. So we're going to go to our content view. And the first thing I want to do is actually change, add a navigation bar and then customize it. So let's first of all expand this. Now the first thing I'm going to do is simply type in navigation and scroll down to navigation view, open a bracket and then close it over here. And as you can see, we're not getting any errors so far. Now to change this, we first actually need to go under the struct and create an init and it will simply be like this. So it open and close a bracket. And inside of here, that's when we actually get to do more customization. And this is the same for any other view in Swift UI. This is how you add extra customization. So I'm going to go navigation bar and then I'm simply going to say appearance because we are customizing the appearance. I will then say dot background color. And as you can see, it's all very straightforward and I will type in dot and then I can pick any color I want. I will go for a yellow just to keep it simple. And if I click resume, you will be surprised that this actually changes to the color yellow. But as you can see, it's not actually going all the way to the top. And that's why, and that's because Swift UI prevents any view to go all the way to the top because this is a safe area. In order to overcome that, all you need to do is simply go to where the navigation view ends. And all you need to do is simply type in dot edges, ignore safe area. And I'm going to say dot bottom. And as you can see, it's looking exactly the same as the one we have on the right. So after that, I think it's a good idea to actually start with the title. And to do that, I'm simply going to say inside the actual navigation view, so not underneath, inside, I will simply type in dot and then I'm going to say navigation bar title and I'm going to say text. And inside of here, I'm just simply going to say images. As you can see, it straight away changed and we already have that navigation part done. So after that, let's go ahead and actually create this scroll view and add the image and I will show you how to customize it. So let's go ahead and actually remove the text hello world and start by having a VStack. Open and close the VStack. And inside of that, we will start by creating a scroll view. Very easy to create. And we want it to be a vertical one first. Sorry, dot vertical. And we want to show the indicators. And we're going to type in true. So you might be surprised why did I create the vertical one first and not the horizontal one. And that's because the horizontal one is inside the vertical one. Otherwise, if you put the if you put the vertical one before, if you scroll down, you will always be able to see this, and that's not what I really want. So I'm going to open and close the bracket. And inside of here, I will now create the horizontal scroll view. So I will type in scroll view, open and close the bracket. Inside of here, I'll simply type in horizontal and shows indicators. I want that to be off. Now putting it true means you'll be able to see that line on the, in the, on the right side and you can actually drag it now. And putting it as false means you will not be able to see it just as you can see right now. Now I'll open and close a zigzag bracket and inside of here, we can actually start creating our images. So I'm simply going to type in image. Actually, because I want it to be more than one, all I'm going to do is simply type in four each. And then I'm going to say zero dot dot five. And that means pretty much create five objects. And I'm going to say in 
and then I will create the images. So I'll call image and I'm going to say Harley because as you can remember from the asset folder it is called Harley and I can do this. Sorry I my Mac is glitching. And I just want to show you something. So right now as you can see it will be created like this and every photo will take the whole uh, screen size obviously that's not what we want and this is where customization comes so first thing we first need to say resizable and that allows us to change the size we then need to say rendering mode and we need to put original just so that we don't actually affect how the photo looks and now we're going to be changing how the size of the actual photo so we're going to be putting a frame and for the width I'm going to go ahead and put 170 for the height I'm going to put sorry for the height, I will be putting 70. And for alignment, uh, we don't actually need it for this one. Now, as you can see, they are like this, but that's not what we want. But before I add that, we first need to add the border to make it have that red border, as you can see. So I'm simply going to type in border, and then I'm going to say color.red, and I'm going to give that a width of four now as you can see they now look pretty much exactly the same now how do we actually fix that problem where it's not um like horizontal all we need to do is simply put the for each statement in a hashtag so i'm going to do that right now hashtag and we need to add another bracket over here and now as you can see it's looking exactly the same as it is in the top and if i click play you will be able to scroll through First, second thing we need to create now is just a photo like this. So let's go, let's go here. And now we can start creating our other image. So all I'm going to do is simply type an image. And I'm, again, I'm going to use the same photo. So I'll say Harley. And as you can see, it added and it stretched the photo throughout the whole screen. Now we don't want that. We, don't, we want it to look exactly the same as this. And let's just make sure no notifications will be shown. <laughs> and now all I need to do is simply again type in resizable. Then I can say rendering mode. And like I mentioned, we just want it to be original. After that, we can add a frame. And obviously adding our width. Um, actually, so for this one, this is the trick that I want to show you. If you if you want it to stretch throughout the whole width, so you don't really want it just like this, you don't want any space, all you need to do is simply not type in the width, only add the height, and it will do the trick. So I'll put the height at 300. As you can see, we don't have a width. And for alignment, we actually never need it. And I'll remove it completely. So all I added was the height, and as you can see, everything else gets adjusted accordingly, and the width is completed all the way until the end of the screen. Second thing I want to add, which is actually pretty cool, is this profile picture like lookalike and the shadows and the border and everything. Uh, you can use this in if you're creating like a social media app or something like that. So the second thing I'm going to do is simply type an image. And inside of here, I'll type in David because that's the name of the photo. And as you can see, it stuffed everything up by simply stretching across the screen. So again, let's type in resizable. And then let's do, do render mode. And inside of here, I'm going to say original. And this is where the trick actually happens. So first we need to put a frame. And inside of here, we're again only adding a height and the height will be 300. So, so far, everything is exactly the same as this one. And you can see that it even looks in terms of size, exactly the same. So after that, we need to change it into this. So I'll type in um, dot and I'll clip the shape into a circle and then I'll type and as you can see it will just change to a circle and we'll then click on overlay or sorry type in overlay and inside of the overlay I'll again type in circle like this and this time I'll give that circle a stroke and inside of that stroke we will need to give it a color of black Like this and then after that we also need to give it a line width so how thick that line should be so i'll simply type in line width type in line line width and i want it to have a width of three now 
that should give us actually the line that we want, but it's not enough. I still want to add um, a shadow. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Dot shadow. And I will type in color. Dot black. And radius should be five. Now let's see if we will get any errors because I think we will. So let's expand this for a second and see what we actually got wrong. Okay, so as you can see, I finally <laughs> fixed the issue and it was just a matter of like, um, I just typed in something wrong, but this is the correct um, code to kind of customize this with the shadows and the stroke and everything else. So I'll just go through really quick. So you first clip the shape into a circle and that will straight away make the actual shape as a circle. Um, then if you need that like, curved thing you first need to create an overlay so that will add another object on top of the object that you already have and we're simply adding a circle we're then adding a stroke to that circle with a black color a black border and the line width is three and this will create that black um uh, kind of like line or border around the circle now the shadow is completely not necessary so if we remove this the circle will simply be like this, but I just wanted to add a shadow and that's why it looks just as if it's hovering on top of the view. So the second thing that we want to add is an image and have like a space between the border of the screen and the actual image. And to do this, it's actually very simple. So I'm simply going to add copy and paste the uh, image with the same frame. And let me just expand this, click play and show you what's happening. So right now, if we do have a look, it will actually be filling the entire width of the screen, just like this. But we don't really want that, we want it to have a space next to it. So in order to do that, all we need to do is simply go all the way to the end. And inside the frame, we will simply type in width. And all we need to do now is inside the width, we will simply type in UI screen dot main dot bounds dot width. And inside of here, we're going to say minus and I will for just to show you an example, I will type in 35. So that means that the image width should be the screen width minus 35. And that will result in the image being stretched at minus 35. So let's go ahead, run this and see how this will actually look. And I'll click run and I will show you, I will continue the video after it actually loads up. Okay, so as you can see, we have everything exactly looking like we had before. And now if you have a look, there is an actually a 35 difference from the width. So if we move back uh, to the code, we can actually change this by simply typing minus 10 or minus 20 or whatever, and it will calculate the width of the screen minus whatever you inserted there. Thanks so much for watching and please remember to leave a like and a subscribe and maybe just click on the whole playlist and view all the other ama amazing content on SwiftUI. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.